Hello friends. In this video, we will build a facial similarity search engine. In the previous video, we have built a, a similar image search engine, right? Now this is very similar to the facial sim, uh, the similar image search engine, uh, except that we have some additional steps uh, because we are trying to find out uh, uh, facial similarities. Okay. So in the previous video, we have this architecture. So except these first two components where we have these images and then we have an embedding model. We converted each image into a vector and then we have inserted those vectors into vector database. And then we have query images uh, using the same embedding model. We create the vector and then we use this vector to query the vector database to find out uh, similar vectors right using the cosine similarity and then uh, from those vectors uh, we map them to the uh, uh, the images so this way we were able to find out uh, images which are similar to our query image uh, but in this application we are going to build this facial similarity search engine so just one additional step uh, when we start with the images instead of creating the embeddings directly, what we do is we will apply a facial detection or recognition model so that we can find out the bounding boxes of the faces uh, within those images and then we extract only the facial parts. Okay. So basically we are just, let's say this model, it detect the faces within the images and using the bounding boxes, we crop the images so that we get, we extract only the face, right? And we use only this face or cropped images for creating the embeddings. And the downstream process is exactly similar as what we saw in the previous video. So we'll go over this process uh, 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 faster. We'll spend some time on this initial step. So if, uh, uh, so I recommend you to go through the previous video uh, to have more details of uh, this process. Okay. So let's go to the code. Yeah. All right. So yeah, let's start with the libraries. So here we are installing a new library called FaceNet PyTorch. So it's a PyTorch implementation of a FaceNet algorithm. So this uh, library has uh, uh, the models uh, to recognize and extract uh, the faces uh, from the images. Okay. All right. So we are going to use this data data set called uh, TMDB uh, data set, uh, which contains uh, it's a movies uh, celebrities data. Uh, it, it has images of about 115 movie celebrities and these are the, uh, the, the most famous uh, Hollywood celebrities. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So we load the data. Uh, that's how we uh, download the data. And then, so let's look at one of the examples, right? So we are, we just pick one, uh, one, one of the uh, points. And so this celebrity name, it's this Thomas Stanley Holland and will have uh, some of his biography and there is some additional information like uh, birth, uh, birthday, some, I don't know, known, uh, place of birth, uh, popularities, etc, etc. Okay. Um, all right. And the most important one is uh, this image. So here uh, the images of the celebrity uh, is in the form of this PIL uh, format. Okay. So we can display the image. Uh, so from this celeb, so which is this uh, this particular celebrity, and we are just resizing the image. Okay, so it's this guy uh, Thomas Holland. Now uh, we need only the images and some maybe uh, this profile path, uh, which is we can use to uh, download the images or show the images from the URLs and also just the name uh, to showcase, right? We don't need all this birthday, et cetera, et cetera information, okay? So we are just removing all the unnecessary column, okay? If any metadata, for example, name, et cetera, is missing after removing this column, 
we just fill with uh, none okay so as i mentioned uh, so in this one we have seen uh, the right hand uh, part of the application in the previous video uh, what's new in this one is this face detection uh, model okay so first we apply this face detection model on all these images and then we extract the faces from those images okay so from facenet uh, library which is this pytorch uh, implementation of facenet library we are using this model mtcnn so this is a model which is specifically trained to uh, extract the faces from the images if the image has some face okay so it looks like this so here it's we are using the same image as before and then we can simply say detect so this detect uh, it will detect the face if it is in the image and what it does is it will return these four coordinates so the rectangular a bounding box coordinates and it also shows how confident it is about uh, uh, the face that uh, what is extracted is actually the face okay so what we can do is we can use these uh, four uh, coordinates uh, to extract uh, the bounding box or the face right so here we are simply drawing the rectangle uh, using these four coordinates extracted so this is how it looks like right so for the, given this image uh, uh, this face net model it detected this portion as the face uh, which is uh, which is accurate right i thought the bonding box would be slightly bigger because here we are missing uh, the ears um, a little bit of chin as well as the hair i thought those are also the important features uh, but anyway i mean uh, the important aspects of the face are are uh, uh, being recognized okay now we can use open cv uh, with these four coordinates to crop the image but uh, the face net itself has a function where we can simply supply the image it will just extract uh, the face okay so we don't need to use those four coordinates uh, and crop the image ourselves right we can use this inbuilt function okay so that's the first step we will be doing uh, with this model so right so we pass each image uh, through this model and we extract the faces and once we extract the faces we'll apply the embedding model we create the vectors we insert them into the vector database that process we have already seen right and for creating the embeddings because uh, um, as we saw in previous video uh, we were working with satellite images right so we have used a model which is specifically trained on satellite images to extract the features uh, uh, which is uh, which is this high level mathematical representation of vectors right so because here we are working with the faces and we are going to use this vgg face to model uh, to extract uh, the facial features or the embeddings as you can see here uh, this model has been trained on 3 million images of 9000 uh, uh, people right okay so it's the same so uh, again from the same FaceNet PyTorch implementation, uh, we can get this uh, Inception ResNet and the VGG uh, Phase 2 model. Okay. All right. And the embeddings vector is going to have a shape of uh, 5 to 12. Okay. So as we, uh, as we already know by now, irrespective of the image or the face dimension, uh, the embedding vector uh, will have uh, a size of 512. Okay. All right. Now here we are just uh, implementing a, a simple class. Um, so this will have uh, here we are checking if uh, we have uh, the GPU on this mission. I am running it locally. I don't have GPU. So we'll be using only CPU. And then uh, the first model, uh, this one is for detecting the faces. And the second one VGG model uh, for uh, creating the embeddings. Okay. So we just initialize these ones. And here we have uh, the function. Uh, to detect the faces and uh, it's simply as we saw before it simply detect the faces right and it will return the faces and then here we are doing the embeddings so we simply supply the facial image uh, this will uh, uh, sorry one second so here uh, inception model 
okay so we are going to do multiple uh, we are going to do this in batch so this function uh, here we are creating the embeddings uh, for multiple images uh, 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 in a loop okay all right so uh, this is just an example so here we are picking 10 images uh, from id let's say 10 to 20 and uh, this is how uh, uh, we can uh, in create the embeddings okay so that will create at, at uh, the embeddings for those 10 images and uh, here we have some reshape function so uh, i think before supplying the images to the uh, uh, the face net uh, for recognizing the faces uh, we are standardizing the image size uh, okay uh, again we supply a batch of images so all these images uh, get uh, resized and then returned okay so we have the functions to detect the faces and then uh, create the embeddings uh, but we need to create the index or the database first right so we use this pinecone library and uh, we have uh, the api key as well as the environment as i mentioned in previous videos you can just head to pinecone web page uh, just register a free account and uh, you can create the api keys okay so we have connected to pinecone and then we are creating this index or database uh, which is this tmdb uh, hyphen people okay right so we are checking if this index already exists if it does not exist uh, we are creating this index and again three things are important here uh, obviously the index name itself and uh, the dimension uh, of the vectors and also the uh, uh, similarity matrix okay so we created the index and we have access to the index here so finally, uh, we are going to take all the images, we are going to detect the faces, crop the images, create the embeddings and insert them into the uh, database. So we are doing in a loop uh, and also batch size of 64. Okay, so here we are taking a 64 images uh, at a time. Uh, first we reshape them so that all images have the similar dimensions and then uh, we implement this function which encodes. So before encoding, uh, this function calls uh, uh, the face net detection model uh, to detect and crop the faces and then create the embeddings. Okay. So as we know, uh, the pinecone it expects these three elements when we are inserting the uh, vectors into the database. Uh, first, we need to create an ID, embedding, and a metadata. Right. So ID is is a simple serial number. And in this metadata, we have the celebrity name and as well as uh, uh, the image uh, URL, URL uh, identity, right? URL ID. So that we can use the prefix and we can append uh, the URL ID so that we can plot the images uh, from the web itself. Okay. All right. So we have inserted the images and then we can uh, do the, uh, we can. Uh, print this uh, describe index uh, which will show us uh, the vector size as well as uh, how many uh, uh, vectors uh, the database has. Now here we have a simple helper function uh, to display the results it's uh, this HTML code so all we are doing is once we find out the similar images uh, we are uh, supplying uh, we are uh, providing this metadata from the metadata it has this profile path so this is the tmdb uh, url right and for each celebrity uh, we have this unique profile path so it takes this profile path and it takes the name and from this it plot the image and it also show the uh, pro celebrity name okay that's what this uh, this function does and finally here we have uh, the function uh, which uh, takes a face or the celebrity uh, photo and then it will detect uh, the top in uh, similar one so by default here we are saying 10 and so here we are creating the embeddings and then we are uh, searching uh, the pine cone okay so we are asking for top six here okay include the metadata and then uh, we are simply calling this function display the results okay so let's look at some results now here we have picked up an image uh, 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 some just it happened to be the 40th element uh, uh, in our downloaded list now uh, here is uh, the celebrity and her name is this Claudia Harrison okay so let me just 
uh, reduce the size so that we can see multiple images. So as you can see, this is our query image and these are the six images which are returned or these are the six images which are closest to uh, Claudia Harrison. Okay. So as we can see this image, uh, these three look pretty close uh, to our test image. Okay. These are all different people. It's not, uh, it's not the same uh, actress. These are different actress and uh, they look very uh, closer to her. Now here we have Chris Hemworth. Uh, this is our test image. And here we have this Liam Hemsworth. Uh, he is the brother of Chris Hemworth. Uh, they look similar. And here are a couple of other actors uh, who also look very similar to uh, Chris Hemworth. So this is all these images from this uh, uh, from the data set for which we have created the embeddings, right? Now we might have a celebrity who doesn't look like anyone. So in that case, we still get top K results, but they may not look similar to our query image. Okay. So we are only searching within the data we have, right? Uh, probably another maybe Korean actress, uh, our Korean slash Hollywood actress. So these are also uh, different actors. They look very similar to our test image. And Jason Statham, a uh, famous Hollywood actor. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, these guys look also similar. Uh, maybe it may not be this guy. Uh, another actress, uh, again, looking very similar. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know these celebrities, but uh, okay. This Luke Grimes. Uh, probably these slightly different these look guys look not that much similar but for this one uh, they look similar right so it's uh, Jeffrey Dean and these guys uh, they are actually looking quite similar I would say and then here we have Jennifer Lawrence uh, these actors also uh, looking uh, yeah very close to Jennifer Lawrence and finally we have Brad Pitt yeah this guy looking very close to Brad Pitt and these guys as well all right uh, that's it so again just go back to the architecture uh, we start with the images we apply a facial detection model uh, so that we can extract only the faces and we use these faces images or the cropped images to create embeddings using another uh, model which is trained on facial recognition and we upload the vectors to the vector database and then we can query uh, for similar uh, uh, celebrities or similar facial features uh, using the vector database. Uh, that's it for today. Uh, thank you very much.